Hi, good evening. Yeah, this is Aaron again with another up update from my um, my three month um, biking trip around France. So as usual, subscribe and check out the playlist to get uh, updated. So this is what I did today. Uh, this morning I woke up in uh, Lyon, way down in the, the southeast of France. Uh, but took the train to Tours and uh, cycled along the Loire uh, River, basically. So. Um, cycling from uh, from east to west. So the plan in the next few days is to go up into Brittany to Mont Saint-Michel. But um, yeah, today was kind of interesting because um, the last, well, the last week or so, at least two weeks maybe, I've, been, uh, I've put in lots of uh, climbs every day deliberately. But today was entirely flat basically along the, the River Loire. Kind of different to do that for a change. Um, although I'm looking forward to climbing again in the next couple of days. So the, um, yeah, I got up at 4 a.m. to get to the train because, um, like, there are faster trains, but it's kind of difficult to get a, um, a bike on a fast train at short notice. It's basically impossible um, and or expensive. So I um, took the regional train, got up here, found the biggest dolmen in France. And indeed, um, it is, apparently it's the second biggest dolmen in uh, in Europe, um, oh yeah, there's just a photo of uh, one of the nice bridges along the uh, uh, the Loire. Um, yeah, I don't know much about it. Like it's kind of a famous valley, lots of wines, basically around here. But I don't drink wine, so I don't know anything about it. Um, oh, <laughs> the town that has the biggest dolmen in France is also on the exact same. Um, line of latitude, no longitude, as Greenwich, which is further proof that France should switch to uh, the same time zone as Britain and Ireland and Portugal. So uh, I said that the last few days were in the Ardèche, uh, so I had a video about that yesterday. The Ardèche, very nice region south of France, oh, of Lyon, sorry. The reason I mention that now is that uh, in this uh, dolmen place, there was a little museum, and they were saying that in France, at least, uh, all of these stone structures are associated with uh, with Brittany. But actually, um, like they're spread all around France, and the Département of Ardèche it has like the second largest number of uh, of uh, of these dolmens and megaliths as um, yeah, so that's kind of a surprise. Although apparently they are very small there, that um, the biggest ones are in Brittany. But uh, yeah, that was interesting. And also, there's some story about, oh, how will I find this quickly, about the Dolomites. Some bizarre connection with the Dolomites. Let me quickly get the relevant photo. Yeah, the Dolmen of Bagno um, was discovered mm -hmm was uh, excavated by some guy, some chemist called Dolomieu. Uh, so indirectly he gave his name to the Dolomites, or Dolomites, I'm never sure how to pronounce them in the Alps. Um, yeah, so kind of funny connection that. Uh, last year, as I was cycling across the Alps, I also managed to get a couple of days in the Dolomites and they were fantastic. Um, yeah, so now I must look up the word dolmen and megalith. Um, like meg uh, do they mean the same thing? Like megalith literally means big stone or something from, I guess it's Greek. Uh, yeah, what does dolmen mean? Is dolmen a specific type of, uh, of megalith? Um, I don't know. So, that's a... Uh, that's basically it. Oh yeah, I came across a wine school as well. Um, I wonder what they teach there. Like, is it teaching restaurant staff what wines to recommend to to, uh, to customers or something like that? Anyway, so um, tomorrow I, I don't have, don't have a, uh, an exact plan yet. I know I'm going north towards uh, Mont Saint Michel or Saint Michael's Mount. Um, that very famous island um, just off the north coast 
or France. I think it's Brittany, maybe Normandy, I'm not sure. So that's the plan for the next couple of days. Then go around the coast of Brittany. But uh, obviously at some point I'll go inland a little bit to do some climbs and uh, to visit Rin uh, and so on. But um, it does seem as if there's some nice climbs or nice routes on the coast. Um, but I, yeah, I'll plan that later. The next 